all right everybody how's everybody doing welcome to the first podcast of this channel today i'm going to be talking not necessarily reviewing but more talking about season two of the popular anime tokyo revengers if you haven't seen it already go ahead and watch season one and two they're really 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 great um what i'm going to talk about there might be there's going to be some spoilers so if you haven't seen it go ahead and you know watch it it's really great it's definitely worth it in my opinion so yeah let's just dive right straight into it right so tokyo revengers season two first and foremost we all established that we all hate kisaki right right okay cool as long as we're on the same page season two we pick up where we pick up in the last episode of season one where we have chifuya and takemichi you know tied up in a chair from kisaki kisaki Offs my boy Chief for you, which ugh, oh man, I just want to. Nah, I digress. You know, he offs my he offs Chief for you, and then right before he's about to do the same thing to Takamichi, the lights go out. What happens then? You hear some tuss, you hear some rumbling and tussling, and then uh, Takamichi aw- awakens um, by Kazutora. And fun fact, if you guys didn't know, um. In the live action movie of or live action series of Tokyo Revengers, the actor that plays Kazutora is the same character from Alice in Borderlands who plays the character Shuntaro Chishia. I hope I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying it right. If not, please correct me. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, going back, going back to you know what I was saying, Kazutora pretty much wakes him up. He explains the situation, tells him how he feels about you know how. Uh, the gang is not what it used to be it's not what it represents and so he asks Ta- Takemichi to help him out and you know so they you know they they, they they shake hands and they agree to try to save the Tokyo Manji gang and you know obviously Takemichi is trying to save Hinata Katsutora makes he doesn't make he sets up a meeting with Naoto and Takemichi um, so that happens Takemichi gets arrested Naoto finally has a chance to talk to him and then so they both catch up on their situation and what's going on in the world so from then on you know they agree like hey let's go ahead and just try to save the world and or not save the world save the gang and also save Hinata so what do they do they shake hands and we're back to another situation so what did I like and dislike about this season I didn't, there's not really a lot that I didn't dislike I actually liked a lot of it you know I really enjoyed this season. Yeah, um, you know, we're, you know what, I wouldn't even say dislike, (laughs) but what I find rather funny is how we're introduced to this new character named, uh, Taiju, who is like, he's the leader of the Black Dragon Gang, you know, and I find it funny how (laughs) this kid is like, you know, he looks like a super grown adult, even though he's only like two years older than uh, Takemichi so I think how much how old is Takemichi hold on let me check so he is 14 in season two I believe now let's see how old Taiju is because I remember during the uh during one of the episodes they said that he's pretty much only like two years older than him so if that's the case what no there's no way that Taiju is uh 16 okay because I could have swore that um Taiju. Okay, well, I can see him being like, you know, there's no way. Alright, sorry, so I had to look up and do a little bit of math. Okay, so in season two, Takemichi is 14 and Taiju is 16. This man here literally looks like a full blown adult. Like a six foot, uh, like over six feet tall and looks like a full grown adult. Like, that's crazy. But, you know, it's anime. What are, what are you going to do? I just thought the whole situation was just kind of like funny so but yeah I mean I you know the whole situation with Taiju's brother and sister where it's revealed that the sister ended up taking all the the blows for the brother and the brother was trying to like hide it up or whatever I I didn't expect that I mean I knew something was up like I knew him being scared of Taiju there was a good reason for it but then whenever they explained that it was actually the sister who was the one taking all the beatings. I didn't see that coming. I, I, I really didn't. And so that 
that was interesting. You know, and like even for me, that that kind of like fueled that made me angry a little bit, dude. Because it's like, dude, you know, like you're gonna do that to your own sister, like Taiju, bro. Like you're really gonna just like beat your sister up that bad, like. Like whenever the characters got mad in the show and they were saying like, dude, that's that's low even for you. Like that genuinely pissed me off. So I'm glad, you know, whatever happened in Taiju happened in Taiju. <laughs> I'm just remembering <laughs> what happened. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I very much dislike uh, Taiju. Yeah, no, nah, I, 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 I didn't like him. I like them better than Kisuke. I will say that. I still hate Kizuki with passion. I'm always going to hate him. I don't like him. At least for now. I, I haven't read the manga. But I can tell you right now, I absolutely hate him. How do I feel about Mikey this season? Or not Mikey. Uh, Takemichi. Man, he's... Man, he could. That's one tough little motherfucker. I will say that. He is tough. He's taking all those blows from Taiji, dude. And he's still going. Like, at one point, I was like, bro, like, come on, man. I mean, at that point... But then again, you know, Taiju was only using, like, what do you say, like, 50 or 70% of his power? Like, bro, Takemichi's got some balls. Like, he's got, I don't know how he walks around with those steel nut, with that steel nut, nut sack, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I like Takemichi, man. He's, you know, I feel like he's gaining that, more of that confidence, you know, and he's not such a crybaby. I mean, he still is a crybaby, but I, I can see, at least in my opinion, how much I feel like he's improved, you know, you know, Chief of uh, he's growing on me, you know, that's becoming his like right hand man. And maybe that's just because, you know, he, you know, he looked up to Banji. So the same relationship could be found, you know, with Takamichi, because obviously, you know, plot. But, you know, I, I, I like him. Mikey, I my take on it was before the season ever even started on my social media, there was a there was like a photo leak like a black and white i think it might have been from the manga that shows you know mikey and you know how he looked all grown up so him this season how do i feel about him i was concerned at first i'm not gonna lie i, I just like takamichi said like he was worried about him you know i was too you know he gave that a, he gave off that impression that he was pretty much going insane because of the death of uh banji and his brother but nah man he you know he didn't let him it he didn't let that affect them it, it he didn't let that make him go crazy is what i'm trying to say ultimately and you know so that i you know i like him i like how he got closer to takamichi i like how you know at the end of the season he built him a bike from broken parts so yeah he i don't know he kind of like a little like a little brother you know i i, th I don't know i think that was pretty cool yeah, this this season was just like it. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here and I'm trying to like think at the same time. I oh, I will say this. I'm so glad. Like, <laughs> do y'all do you all remember that one part where Taiju pretty much goes up to Mikey and then you know there was that epic feeling that it was finally gonna happen like a big fight because I thought there was gonna be a big fight. So whenever he just straight up punched Mikey in the face, I was like, bruh. Like he, there was no hesitation. He literally just like, like you ain't got no time, bitch. Poof, and he literally just like knocked this little ass down. <laughs> that that part was funny to me. But we all know Mikey doesn't go go down like that because he's the invincible Mikey. And so whenever he got up, I was like, "Ooh, we about to get your shit rocked, boy." And so you know he does a thing where he just like bam with his foot, like for like a split second, and. Let me tell you, just mwah, mwah, so, so good. I thought, I was like, man, well deserved. Finally, Taiju got his, like, fucking, he got his shit rocked. Ah, let's go. You know, and then, you know, <laughs> sorry, I know my thoughts are all, all over the place. It's not, like I said, it's not exactly like a, a super duper in-depth review. This is just my take on it and how I feel about it. So, yeah, that when that shit happened, man, I was rolling. I was like, hey, hey. Yeah, <laughs> this season was just like all over the place. Um, Taiju's got some like crazy ass strength. That boy picked up a f like a fucking the what's the word? I don't even know what the word is, but like the church chair or that you know the big long chair. 
He picked that up with his hands. I'm like, bro, how many 16 year olds know that could do that? I don't know any. I don't like that boy. I don't know whatever, whatever the hell he's been needing to like get him that big. That boy needs to share it, give me some, you know. It's only so much chicken breast and broccoli can do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, this this season was just like it was all over the place. Uh, okay, so that's what I was gonna say. So I really didn't expect on one of the episodes. I didn't expect Yuzuha to pretty much like. I don't want to say necessarily that she conveyed her feelings, but she pretty much announced that she had feelings for Takamichi. I didn't see that coming. I thought she was going to fall in love with the other guy. You know, um, yeah, I thought Yuzuha was going to fall in love with Mitsuya. I'm sorry, I was trying to look for the name. I thought Yuzuha was going to fall in love with Mitsuya. That was what I thought. So I didn't think that she was going to, you know, fall in love with Takamichi. Oh god, my notes fell. I didn't think she was going to fall in love with Takamichi. So that was pretty cool. It was kind of like out of nowhere, but I thought that was pretty cool. So, couple what ifs. Alright, so what do y'all think? What if Yuzuha, Yuzuha pretty much won over Takamichi? How would you all feel about that? How do you all feel about Yuzuha? You know, what if what if Taiju actually managed to knock out Mikey? I know it's like it's it's something that would never happen, but like let's entertain the idea. What would you think would happen after that? Like give me some uh give me your input. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't really think of anything at the moment. That's weird. I hate it whenever I get like writer's block while I'm like talking. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting like writer's block. I can't think of anything right now. Oh, so that was a question. I I, I had a question for y'all and Maybe you guys know, but let me look it up. Season 2 of Tokyo Avengers. Okay, so going back to what I was saying, this person, Inui Seishu, hopefully I'm saying that right. Was it me or like were his shoes high heels? And if they are, what kind of high heels were they? Because I was like, just kind of, I'm not hating on it. I was just kind of caught off, caught off guard about it. So I was just, I want to make sure that I, you know, that I, I'm not seeing things, so. Yeah, y'all let me know if uh, if I'm going crazy or not. Okay, I think I remember now. Alright, so... At the end of everything... You know... We're brought back to the present day and... You know... We're told to meet up with Mikey at this loss... I guess this area in the Philippines where... There's all these... Uh, lost parts, kind of like a... Like over here where I'm at. It's, it's like a pick and pull, essentially. Uh, so there's a bunch of like used motors and stuff that that were used for motorcycles. So you know they go over there and we meet modern day Mikey and we find out that it's true that Mikey's been killing like all of his old gang members. So I I'm wondering why why he did that. Oh, you know what? Now I remember why. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm still going off the top of my head. So, so yeah, we find out that Mikey has been was actually the one who has been, you know, killing his old gang members. I I really didn't want to believe it at first. I was low-key kind of heartbroken by it, but, you know, plot, you know, anime plot. Uh, but, yeah, and so at the, end of the, at the end of the season, we're shown that Naoto shoots... Maki in the head so that way he can you know save Takabichi. now with that how how I personally feel about the ending I don't know I'm kind of just like speechless because I know I think there's like two more arcs that that are gonna take place so I'm genuinely curious about who's the next gang I mean I'm sure I, you know I can always google it I just know that they've already announced there was already like a like an artwork for season three and it's this person it's the it's a character though it's wearing a red coat that to me kind of looks like mikey but i would say like darker skin you know okay yeah so i'm, I'm looking at the photo now it yeah it's this kid that kind of looks like mikey but with you know shorter hair if not almost the same hair white hair you know a red coat just like ties you from uh this this recent season so I'm genuinely curious about what this next season is gonna be overall 
I did like this season a lot. You know, there were some funny parts to it. There were some serious parts to it. There were some motivational parts to it, at least in my opinion. You know, it always goes back to the to the pretty much famous saying, you know, just never give up, never give up and, you know, don't give up on the ones you care about, even if they, you know, you, you all understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, like I said, I'm bad at talking, but that's ultimately that's the feeling that I got out of it. I really liked it. You know, I <laughs> I binge watched it and we all know that like whenever you binge watch something, you just want you want the next season to come out already. So I'm very much looking forward to season three. Um, I know this first podcast was, was probably all over the place, but like I said, it's not a review. It's not an in-depth uh, review of season two or like, you know, reviewing this episode or this episode. This is just my take on it and how I feel about it, how I genuinely feel about it. It's great. Just a lot of, you know, a lot of shit all over the place. And so, man, yeah, I'm pretty much, I'm really looking forward to season three. So if you're looking forward to season three, please type down in the comments below that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to season three and we'll go from there. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to season three. Comment below. Let me know what, what you all thought about this season, uh, whether you liked it or hated it, what you liked or hated about it, who's your favorite character so far, uh, what you like about him, and just genuinely, just, just generally... Let me know how you feel about this season and what are your thoughts on it. And if you all are looking forward to season three as I am. So let me know. I, I'm, I, I'm genuinely curious about how you all felt, felt about this season. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this first episode. I apologize if it was just kind of all over the place. You know, yeah, it's the first one. You know, the first one ain't always going to be perfect. But you know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. <laughs> so with that being said, I will see you all on the next video. Adios.